I'm here to introduce our new internally heated battery to you. This is our flagship model, the 112. Inside this battery is a built-in heat solution. It's a proprietary solution. It works seamlessly. We're gonna explain more about it in this video, but we're very excited to bring you a product you've been asking for for a really long time. So there are a couple of really cool features about this battery. I know there are other internally heated batteries on the market, but ours is unique for a number of reasons. The first reason is the way that we actually heat it internally is with a positive temperature coefficient material. What that means is the colder it gets, the more power that it actually draws. The warmer it gets, it will draw less power. So it's kind of self-regulating in that way. There's also an internal thermostat inside the battery that will keep the battery just above freezing. So you don't want to heat it too warm because then you're actually wasting power, but you want it just hot enough that it performs really well on discharge and can also charge fully. The way that the heat function is enabled is unique as well. So we've got a, a feed through into the battery that will actually activate a switch when the feed through is raised to a higher voltage. For example, for a 12 volt battery, this feed through is raised to a 12 volt signal. And when that happens, the heat function is engaged, which means when it gets cold, the heat element will begin to activate until it becomes just above freezing. And in fact, the thermostat circuit will keep it between 35 degrees Fahrenheit and 45 degrees Fahrenheit, and just kind of bounce back and forth between those two temperatures. When it's actually on at those temperatures, the heat draws about 1.8 amps. So at 1.8 amps for a 100 amp hour battery, this could run from full to empty with no external charge for about 65 hours. When the heat element is actually on, the average draw is about 1.8 amps right around the freezing mark. So at that current, you can run this battery continuously from full to empty for about 55 hours. Now in reality, the current is not always on. In fact, it's on only about 30% of the time if it's zero degrees outside and this thing is not even insulated. So we're talking something more like 85 hours of, of operation. But in reality, it's not actually on all the time. It's only on just to keep it between 35 degrees Fahrenheit and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. So in our tests, we've actually observed that it's on about 30% of the time at zero degrees Fahrenheit with no insulation on the battery. So what that means is that this thing could run for about 185 hours without actually having a charge and with no loads applied to the battery. So the other nice feature about this feed through is that if you have multiple batteries, you could actually daisy chain them together and connect them through one switch to the highest voltage in the system. So if you have multiple batteries in parallel or multiple batteries in series or even multiple batteries in series parallel configurations, you just daisy chain the feed throughs together through a switch and into the highest voltage and with one remote switch you could activate the heat enable function in all of the batteries in your system.